Okay, so <clears throat> I am going to finally open these Fisher Price Loving Family ponies. Um, what can we say about these? I have the the other line. These ones, just the regular baby ponies. So there were three of these, and each of them they have like a little plushie that goes in here. Of course, when I was a kid, I had to cut. I, like I couldn't have anything attached I had to cut everything apart so that means I lost a lot of the pieces so I just put this little uh, vintage teddy bear in there instead um, I've shown these guys more on my Instagram so here's one with the little plushie that originally went with it so actually I got the I got just the blanket for that other one that I showed. So I will have a replacement for that. Um, I really would love to have the hat for this one. I know that this is not uh, the pony that this blanket goes to. Actually, it's supposed to be this pony, but I kind of prefer them in these uh, alternate outfits. So they came with like a little bow and a little bag of apples or oats or whatever and a little bottle like the little bottle fits in their mouth so early 2000s this was my jam I remember I don't know if they were I, I remember I feel like I bought them at the grocery store and I had like saved up my money and gone back I don't know this was one of this these are one of the first toys that I really remember choosing to buy myself and I played with them so much and like I said I still have I still have these pieces I still have two of these little bags I think I still have their bottles and I still have um one of the brushes and I recently bought a replacement for this blanket and I bought the purple brush so I would love to find the blue brush and I would love to find the little corn feed bag for this one. They also came with like little messenger bags, I guess I would describe them as, like with their name embroidered on them, but I'm not sure if I like need to find those or whatever. So yeah, let's see. I'll put these guys back. So these ones are the same mold as the other baby ponies, but Honestly, I think I prefer the other baby ponies. They just seem to have a little more personality or something when they have like the airbrushing of a different color instead of just being one solid color. These ones do have like a little bit of blush, which is cute. And I noticed their little bib and bottle thing instead of a blanket because they have like a costume to dress up in and a little pet, but their little, this little thing is a different color than the other bottles. And this one, she doesn't actually have a bottle. She has a little, a little carrot. But these are so cute. Like I said, the other ones, they came with a brush and a bag and the little feed thing with the bottle. And they also came with a, a bow and a little attached plushie. So this one, <clears throat> I think there's so much good stuff that these come with. And if I had known these existed as a kid, because I remember when I bought the ones that I bought, I think I think they were like on clearance or something. So maybe these ones that already sold out or something. I don't know. Anyway, so these ones also come with this little scrunchie and you can see like the pony's pet and the pony in the little locket, which is so cute. And like I said, I think that there is so much, um, there's so much play value in these. And I know I got so much playing done. I had so much fun playing with the ones I had because, you know, you could switch their clothes around. They had their own little stuffed animals and their own little food and a little bag to put everything in. Yeah, great stuff. Um, I am thinking a little bit about the purple one. I lost the hat to that one and I'm not sure that I will ever be able to find that hat again. So I may have to rebuy that one in box. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, opening these guys. So now we have the the B one out of her box. Um, I have looked um, online all the boxes of all the box the box the back of all the boxes is exactly the same so it shows you the different little uh, toy items 
things that come with them. Um, I really wish that they had, um, you know, put different items on the back of each one because I know that these guys are really cute as well and I would love to see some promotional material or like some pictures and stuff for them. I used to always love looking at the backs of toy boxes and seeing what else there was to have, you know? So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these, especially because this one, you know, it's kind of torn up here and that sort of thing. I don't know. I'll think about it. Let's see. Now we have this guy. So cute when it's all in the, all in here like that. But uh, yeah, I will open these because I want to display them on my spring themed shelf. Oh my God. Does anybody else remember <laughs> back in the day when they still, when toys were still really big and you would get something and you would just be dying to get it out of the packaging and play with it. And there would be all of this stuff to do because I do. I would go running to my dad and be like, help me, I need the tweezers and the pliers and the scissors and everything. <laughs> the little brush, so cute. So all of the baby ponies, so there's there's six of them. There's the ones I showed in the beginning and then there's the pony parade ponies. And their brushes always have this little horseshoe and ribbons symbol on the back. So I, like I said, I got the purple one. I have the pink one. Uh, with me still from childhood. Um, maybe one day I will find the blue one again, or I will find it somehow in my stuff. Like somehow I've missed it. I don't know. We'll see. Like, why was this? I'm, I mean, like, how do you get this thing out effectively? And then her hair is like all matted up down here at the bottom anyway, even though she's only ever been in her completely sealed box. So yeah, I'll have to figure out how to fix that. I think they're supposed to have a little, you know, forelock as well, but it has kind of gotten down under the rest of her hair. So can try and fix it, but she doesn't have a hat to make it sit like it's supposed to, like the other baby pony. So we'll see. So this baby pony has some absolutely terrible uh, box hair. It was like all tangled up at the bottom. You know, and I mean, she got put in the box like that, obviously, and then sat like that for 20 years. So I think it was probably good to unbox this one because this would have been one of those ones that would sort of deteriorate the longer it was in the box. So I don't know. I'll have to see what I can do about the ends of her hair like this. She's kind of got like a crimped mane and tail, um, which the other ones had sort of a straight one. But I will say that her little outfit is so cute. I'm just trying to just trying to fix her little forelock there. But her little outfit is so cute. Look at the shiny little bee wings and everything. Yeah, maybe I'll have to fix work on fixing her hair a little bit. But let's get the rest of this out of the box. Okay, yay, here she is completely out of the box with all of her stuff. So here's the little bee costume and her little pet, the little pet piggy who has its own little bee costume, which you can take off and on very easily. I'll just put that back on for now. And I love the little tiny bee pattern on the little bib and also this is so cute. The little plastic locket, it's like light purple with a little horse on it. And then inside there is the sweet little picture of the little piggy and the little horse. So actually what this little pig makes me think of is these uh, Barbie pigs that I had growing up. So this one, it's funny, this one's in the same pose, obviously different mold, different company, but uh, same pose anyway, walking with its nose up. And I think this one is super cute. It had a little bottle that it could hold, you know, so I can display those, I think, alongside this one and it will be very cute. So next one is this, I guess it's supposed to be a butterfly. I just call it the little fairy one with, look at the little iridescent wings and everything. This one is so cute and she doesn't have the 
crimped hair really or maybe she did it one time but she doesn't anymore so I'm hoping that her hair will be better but as I said they have the, they're just the exact same back of the box um, I have been talking to a couple people on Instagram about um, these ponies and they're not like super well known so that that has been fun that people have kind of discovered them like I said I just remember buying those first ones I remember those so clearly because they were I'm pretty sure they were on clearance uh, at some local grocery store and I bought them with my my little bit of pocket money so that's always fun yeah this one she funny enough she has like a much uh, shorter tail or maybe maybe her tail just wasn't held down oh I wonder I bet the um yeah it looks like there was remains of a, a rubber band here that has kind of disintegrated oh yeah because this one is broken and kind of melted to her little costume as well that's yeah kind of sad about things that get kept in box that sort of disintegrate but I'm not sure how you would find all of the pieces to a set like this if you didn't buy it in box just because it's not something that's super commonly collected so I'm gonna take all the pieces out of the box and then show them so yeah her hair is much better than the bumblebee one for sure but I think maybe she didn't have um, maybe the same crimp texture to begin with I don't know but there is a problem with for some reason all of her rubber bands have rotted so I'm trying to scrape those pick those bits off of all of her stuff so here's this version of the set I had to clean all that up and like wash my hands and everything because and wash this off kind of I don't know that uh, yeah those rubber band marks aren't really coming off but that's all right because this adorable little costume and little wings kind of cover it up so like I said earlier the hair on this pony is in much better shape and she's definitely a butterfly you can tell because of the adorable little butterfly pattern on this uh, little bib thing and also they painted the bottle too which the other set none of the bottles were painted so here's the little scrunchie. It's also pink with a little pink locket. And there's the little kitty and the little pony. This is adorable. And I would have been obsessed with this sort of thing as a kid. Like, really. <laughs> and then we have, of course, another little brush, which I think actually this is a different, um, it's even a different shade of pink than the other pink brush of this one that I have, which is nice. And then best of all is the little fairy kitty or the little butterfly kitty. So here's the little kitty it's with its sweet little face. And it has its own little costume with iridescent wings, which is just adorable. So there is one more pony in this line and it's the ladybug pony. And the thing is, is I got both of these guys for, you know, $20 or, or less. I think one was significantly less than that. And I can only find the ladybug one for, you know, like two or three times that at least. And I'm not really sure if I'm willing to spend that. But as much as I am not really a completionist, it is the only one of this line that I don't have. And it is so cute. I love the concept of a pony and their pet with matching costumes. It's just adorable. So yeah, that's one of my favorite toy lines. As a kid. So this is how my little spring display looks now. I love how these guys look. They are so cute and I put both of the ponies there in front of the Star Fairies box. I ended up putting all of their accessories up there on top because I am going to open the Star Fairies box pretty soon as well. So then my little display here might change a bit but yeah I really love them.